Hunters packing warm gear and grabbing those last minute items today before they head to their deer stands tomorrow morning in search of that trophy buck. NBC 26's Raquel Lamel is live in Ashwaubenon tonight with more on the final rush. Raquel? Well, Stacy, at stores like Cabela's here, they say this is one of their busiest days of the year. Now, the cold weather gear, like the blaze orange jackets, hand warmers, and feet warmers, those are the things that are the top sellers as the temperature drops this weekend. But as hunters gear up for a change in the temperature, they also need to prepare for a change in hunting rules when it comes to tagging. New this year, the DNR is having hunters tag their deer with a paper tag instead of the green tag you're used to, requiring more work on the hunter's part. Hunters need to be prepared to protect that paper when they put it on the deer uh, with some type of a plastic sealable bag is really the best way to do it. Um, but they also are able to just keep the tag on their person as long as they stay with the deer. Now that tag must be filed out as, filled out as soon as you get the deer. You must also register the deer by 5 p.m. the day after you kill it at the latest. It's all done on your smartphone or on your computer. Now, the hunters that I did speak with here at Cabela's tell me it's not the cold, but the wind here that they are worried about this weekend, saying it could make hunting difficult, but they're staying hopeful they'll see a lot of movement in the woods this weekend. Live in Ashwaubenon, keeping you connected, Raquel Lamel, NBC 26.